This sleek little micro class B behind me is the Wingham Oasis 540. It's made in Italy and hopefully this year it's going to be brought to the United States. So we thought we'd take a look around and see what this thing is all about. Now the example we're looking at is actually a prototype. They've brought it over to show the US market, but this is currently on a Fiat Ducato chassis, and it's going to be built on a Ram Promaster 3500 chassis when it is brought to the United States. Now let's take a look around the exterior, then we'll go inside and take a look there. Now I did say this is a micro class B. That's because it's only 17 feet, nine inches long. This is one of the smallest drivable RVs that I've seen that can sleep for and seat for. Another great feature about this is its monocoque fiberglass shell. This is custom molded, which allows them to get really great insulation in the hot and cold. Plus there are no seams with the RV, so it gives us this nice smooth kind of streamlined look. On the driver's side, there's a storage compartment. And the nice thing with this is it's actually accessible from inside the camper. At the back of the camper, this is the outlet for the Truma Combi. It's a combination furnace and hot water heater. And this is where the cassette toilet is housed. So here's where you pull out the cassette and you can wheel it off to a bathroom to dump it. This one holds five gallons of waste. Now this is a feature I haven't seen on another Class B. It's a rear storage cabinet. This is built so that you can store additional cassettes if you want to for the toilet or just throw wet goods or anything else you want to put back here. It's nice because it's so long that if you have longer items like skis or that, you can fit them back here. On the passenger side, this bay here houses the dual propane tanks for the furnace. There is a manual Fiamma awning, LED light, and on the door here is this cool little trash can. But what I really want to see is what's inside. So this is it, this is the inside. And I have to say, this feels a lot bigger than a Class B, especially because it's much wider than your standard van. And as anyone who spent any time in a Class B realizes, every extra inch you have makes a big difference on how big the inside feels to you. Now, I'm in the passenger seat, both seats do flip around, and then you have this couch for your passengers or people who just come to hang out. Now what I like about it is this whole couch is currently set up in, we'll call it the lounging mode. But the centerpiece here and this cushion all come out. So this pops out and then these are your two passenger seats. So it's very modular and convertible. Now what else this area does is I said it sleeps for and seats for. So you've got your four seats. Now this becomes a bed for two. This table is able to slide forward, back, side to side. You can also turn it so that if you're sitting here, you have a table to use. If I move it back, bring it over. I can now push this down and there's a spare cushion I can put in here to make this into a bed. Now the other bed is actually here above me. So if I step out, pull this down, this is the full size bed. There is a decent amount of headroom up here, which I like. It's very bright with all of these uh, skylights, but you can put the night shades over so you don't get that when you're sleeping. Um, the floor to ceiling height in here in the back of the camper is 6'6". Underneath this bed, when the bed is up, it's 6'1". When you're ready to use this during the day, just push it back up and you've got your living room back. It's fantastic. Now let me show you the galley. Lots of drawers. Three of them there. 
You've got your storage under the sink. The sink itself. Now in this one, there is an electric stove top. However, in the US model, they will have a gas stove top. Below the stove is going to be a compressor style refrigerator. And since I am kneeling on the floor, I think it's a good time to mention that the Truma Combi system, not only is it your hot water heater, but it's also a furnace. So you're gonna get ducted furnace vents throughout the camper and radiant heat from the floor. That's really nice. Uh, they also have said that the AC unit will also act as a heat pump. So you have two sources of heat when you need it and you can decide how you wanna heat your camper. There's storage up above. And then for just little items, there's a little cubby up here. So for example, if you have stuff while you're sleeping, like a cell phone or that, you can put it up here and you'll be good to go. Now there's also cabinets on this side, built-in speakers, and LED lighting throughout. Let's go back into the bathroom. Now this is a wet bath, but it's actually one of the larger ones I've been in. There's plenty of room for me to move around in here to take a shower. There is a shower curtain so you don't get water all over the place. This is where your cassette toilet is. There's storage under the sink. There's a ducted heating vent in here so you can be nice and warm when you're taking a shower. A sink and then a medicine cabinet above the sink. Above me is a vent so that when you are taking a shower, the humidity in that doesn't go into the camper itself. Above me is the 12 volt AC system. Here is a hanging closet. And below that is more storage. So they've utilized most of this camper for storage and places to sleep and sit. Now let's talk about the battery and electrical system. So standard, these come with one AGM battery, but that can be upgraded to two AGMs or even lithium batteries. 210 watts of solar on the roof, and an inverter is optional. Fresh water is 26 and a half gallons, gray tank is 18 and a half gallons, and your black tank, which is the cassette toilet again, is five gallons. So how much is this micro class B camper? Starting price is $145,000 MSRP for the Wingham OAC 540. Now being Italian, I'm vibing with this because it is made in Italy. If you like what you see, let us know in the comments below. They are taking pre-orders now and are hoping to deliver to the US sometime summer 2022. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna see more cool content, Head on over to our website at we'retherussos.com and we'll see you next time. Bye.